beloved, welcome. This will be your message from the divine. This will be your message from the divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those keen or interested, I do offer personal readings. If you want to book me for a personal reading, you'll find my email listed in my description box below. Without further ado, let us tap into this energy. Let us tap into this reading. Let us tap into this message here. vision of somebody running in the woods right but I'm channeling the prophetic vision based on a narrative of a movie when you are watching a movie and somebody is running in the woods the common denominator of the runner is based on the fact being they're being chased right so I'm seeing somebody being chased as they're running in the woods whether it be daytime nighttime under the sun and under the moon energy I'm seeing both narratives. Okay, let's tap into this energy here. Let's tap into this message. Let's tap into this reading. We have the two of swords reversed. So there's an energy of somebody that wants to do something over, okay, or take time back so that they can redo something. This is an energy of somebody that wants to have a clean slate or fresh start here, okay. This is somebody that wants to heal this situation that has to do with you and them. Whether this is a friendship bond, a family bond, a relationship, intimate bond, okay. Um, a colleague, okay, or somebody that is a stranger wanting a bond with you, or this is based on a group of individuals or a corporation, okay, a business. Take it out of class for a reality, beloved. But somebody here wants to reconcile, they want to make amends, a truce, they want to come together again, okay. Whoever this person is wishes that something never happened. This is the tower reversed. Whoever this person is wishes that something never happened or something never came to pass or something was never what it was. Because right now, all the energy of what was once between you and them, they are now living it in karmic debt form, okay? Karmic debt form. So they're living in some form of cycle of karma due to everything that happened between you and them. This is a narrative that they're stuck in or truth, the story that they've been living by way of what their decisions and choices were between you and them. Emotionally and mentally, somebody made specific decisions and choices and now they're bound, trapped, or stuck in that, in that energy. Wanting to reconcile, make amends a, a truce here to cleanse off the old energy to activate new energy between you and them this is the this person's wish fulfillment here this is this person's biggest desire at this time this is the energy of fantasy or fascination somebody's deeply invested in some form of guaranteed outcome that you and them will be okay again they're committed to this energy like no me and this person we belong in each other's lives, you know, there's nothing that can keep them away from me. It's this person and me, you know, for all eternity, or this can be fixed if we just do this and do that, and I say this and say that. But this person's under judgment because nothing that they've done can be undone. They have to live with it, okay? Whatever the case might be, take it out of class for reality. They're desiring all that they're desiring fantasizing uh, fascination and obsession of reconciling making a true so men's are coming back together okay but that energy can't be undone what was said and spoken and ways they behaved and thoughts and emotions they projected they now have to live in that energy that's the karmic debt they owe you that that's the karmic cycle that they're tied bound and trapped in and stuck under let's tap in further to this energy
we have the nine of cups reverse this person lives a very very sad reality a very sad truth of their own world a very sad life okay one which has nothing to do with feeling or thinking happy thoughts or happy emotions a life that is just filled with ridicule or misery or just a level of sadness that ties them to misery and ridicule shame embarrassment and humiliation whether it's silent suffering or loud public suffering this is what somebody endures this is what they go through this is what they deal with okay this is the energy they're tapped into okay this person is suffering in silence or publicly but nonetheless all of that is not coming to an end anytime soon is what i'm seeing in the energy here Yeah, we have the star reverse this is a person that feels that you know if they don't come forward and express some form of um apology they will end up in this energy forever somebody feels like their healing or their happiness or their good will or freedom or just them being okay and fine in life is tied to you forgiving them they feel like you will unlock all of that energy once they earn some form of forgiveness or once you feel they deserve to be forgiven. We have the full reverse. This is somebody in this energy on a daily basis. Like, why did I? I shouldn't have. I could have. You know, this is the energy of this person, like, wanting to step back and say, you know what? Let me change all that I've done. Let me shift and transition and transform all of that energy into something else because now the way it has fallen over my head in my world life and reality i can't bear that cross like somebody is unable to live with themselves like literally they're unable to live with themselves when they have to um an analogy a reference point a case study an example this is somebody who when they're around people they think about how they've been towards you and they're afraid of allowing people in their space place and energy because of what they've done they're triggered by their own things so they're now like you know what if i allow this person in my energy my space my place what if they do to me what i've done to someone else they're their own worst enemy they're haunted by their own reflection this is the energy here so tapping in further to the energy i do see this person not being able to find peace Four of Swords reverse, just a state of constant unrest or discontentment, just needing a way out, an answer, an elixir, an antidote, a cure to their own madness or insanity or craziness, to their own energy that they're bound, trapped, and stuck under or stuck in or, tra or, or trapped in. Because now they are in the state of being of saying, you know what? If I want to wait out of all of this, this person has to forgive me or this person has to let what I've done go or this person has to be in an energy of forgiveness for me to be okay and fine in life or I'll have to find a way to earn and, and deserve a place in this person's heart and mind of love so that the hate that I sent they way or the jealousy, the envy, the misery, the sadness I'm living in now I need a way out. So that's why they're so determined or adamant or almost persistent in wanting you to, to let them in in your life or wanting you to forgive them or wanting you to see them again, wanting validation, acknowledgement again because something has happened since you've left their life, since the no contact or the separation or when you chose yourself or when you walked away, okay? something fell apart them or their life either way there's no balance there's no structure no foundation it's just collapse chaos strife war no peace no rest no contentment this is the energy here this person is desperate to come forward desperate to say you know what I'll do anything, I'll say anything, I'll act in whatever way. I just 
I need my life back or I want my life in this way or I need this again or I want this again. Like somebody is just desperate. There's no good news that they're experiencing every day is a negative thought, a negative emotion, a negative action and behavior, a negative habit, just a negative truth that they're living in, a negative life, a, neg a negative um, story of life, a negative world, a negative reality that somebody is living in here. I'm hearing a prophetic um, channeling of um, to audience where somebody is screaming and yelling constantly asking themselves why they did it or why they said it or why they acted the way they did or why something had to take place the way it did like this person is in deep regret wanting to offer you their cup of sincerity or genuinity wanting to claim some form of apology and wanting you to accept it somebody wants to say you know what Let's just start from here and take it forward and see where it goes. But I will be honest. I will be of love, of care, of kindness. I will be of serenity, of comfort. I will lay my hands with truth this time. I will speak my words with truth this time. I will feel my emotions with truth this time. I will think my thoughts with truth this time. All of this that they want to project your way, wanting you to just accept it and receive it so that their world life and reality takes a turn in a different trajectory in a different direction in a different path in a different walk in a different journey of life okay this is the energy here with this eight of wands somebody just wants to just bombard you like here you go here you go i'm saying this i'm doing this listen to this you know watch me do this so that you know you can just forgive them because something happened when you left their life or when you left their presence or when you departed, when you separated, when there was no contact, when you ghosted, when you chose yourself or when they ghosted. However way, but something happened here. Now they're stuck wanting so desperately for you to forgive them, wanting to throw an apology at you and force it down your throat, wanting you to not look at them the way you do, not think of them the way you do, not feel for them the way you do. Wanting to give you what they couldn't before because they weren't original, authentic, true. They weren't real. They sabotaged their own self thinking they could outsmart you. Somebody thought they could outsmart you and hurt you in the process, destroy you in the process, harm you in the process, cause you trauma in the process, bring you pain in the process. And now they're living in that energy. That's they lie. That's some powerful, loud karma or silent suffering of karma, public karma. But nonetheless, somebody is living in karmic death energy, having no clue what to make of it. Trying to find coping mechanisms or systems and patterns and habits of living that will help them cope. Wanting to pretend they never meant it, wanting to act like it's not that deep, it's not that big of a deal, it's not, you know, something that should be taken the way it is, or the way it was, or the way, you know, it happened, only because life has fallen apart, or they have fallen apart in their world, life, and reality. Let's tap in further to this energy here. We have the two of cups here, the page of swords reversed here.
This Two of Cups energy keeps coming out for this person here. It's the second Two of Cups in the energy. Like this person is desperate for a reconciliation here, desperate for amends, a truce, desperate to say I'm sorry, okay? Desperate to see you um, in a different energy so that they can call upon you know, forgiveness in their own world, life and reality. They wanna manifest this bond so that you and them can have a way forward and they can find a way into a different energy in their life because the paradigm or the realm or the identity they're in is backfiring there's an adverse effect or return to sender energy that they just can't bear anymore they can't deal with it anymore they can't live with themselves live with it anymore it's just something they want to cleanse and heal but they need you to do it they need you to accept their apology or accept them or accept what they want out of this or go back in time and actually look at everything and love them and validate them, acknowledge them and pay attention to them. Like somebody's just a desperate person, desperate individual. They're in desperate energy, whoever this is, okay? Please take it out. It resonates how it applies for your reality, world, and life. But this is the energy here. It's like, okay, what can I do? Can I change your perspective? Can I change your mind? Can I change your heart? Can I change myself? You know, how, how can I shift all of this? How can I transform all of this? How can I transition all of this? And you don't even care. You're not even present in the energy. It seems like it's a one-sided experience because it is. It's not just what it seems to be. That's the truth of it. To them, it's, it's just what it seems, but that's the truth. Like, you don't care. Whether they want to say what they want to say, do what they want to do, act how they want to act, feel what they want to feel, think what they want to feel, it has nothing to do with you. Think what they want to think, it has nothing to do with you. You're okay, you're fine regardless. You will be happy regardless. No matter what you think you want or need or lack, there will be plenty of abundance in your, in your future. You have a bright path, a bright walk, a bright journey. So whatever you're living right now is just your current reality, but there will be a change, a shift, a transition, a transformation. With or without this person, you will have that. They need you. You don't need them. This is the energy here. And they know that. They want to have a different reputation in your eyes, a different image in your eyes a different caliber a different status quo in your eyes like just be a different person in your eyes but that's never going to happen you always know what they did and they'll always watch their life fall apart because of that they thought they had you they thought they could they thought they someone just thought they figured you out or they're just in the energy of regret remorse guilt guilty conscious repentance judgment like somebody is just going through a lot having to look in the mirror address readdress reevaluate reassess okay no more feeling stuck trapped and bound to something that has nothing to do with you because if you were to attach yourself to this you'd care about something that has nothing to do with you you don't have to care about this it's just your awareness or for awareness sake or warning or confirmation message for you to be aware okay so that you don't walk around feeling and thinking things that are not of your energy or not your vibration not your frequency you know not your wavelength energy okay it's not on you okay we have the fourth cups here you are being called to keep that door closed between you and this person whoever they are keep them away from you or keep their energy closed and sealed in another dimension when it comes to you remain cosmic and galactic in your own way outside of who they want you to be remain you regardless of what they say and think and feel as you've always done okay we have the higher fun here be committed to yourself because you will always serve as a lesson to this person your authenticity is their karma your originality is their karma your realness, your truth is their karma. Okay, so take that, how it applies and how it resonates as well. But this is the truth here. This is the energy, okay? I'm grateful for your time. Thank you for joining me. This was your message from the divine. This was your message from the divine. 
to those keen or interested, I offer personal readings. If you want to book me for a personal reading, you will find my email listed in my description box below. Um, I'm grateful for your time once again. Thank you for joining.